A month ago, I uploaded a video and I was all like, man, it's so good to be back. I'm so excited to upload all these reviews and all these commentaries and all that shit. And <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't want to do that at all. For the past year and a half, my channel has been on a very consistent decline. Views are down, engagement's down, everything's down. In fact, to be fully honest, I have like two or three videos that receive any kind of engagement and the rest are just pretty much fully dead. And I'm okay with that, you know? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I would have liked to have more success with YouTube in general. And I know I didn't put a proper effort in. I mean, there was a time where I was uploading every week and I was doing all these comprehensive tech reviews and I was really trying to, you know, establish myself as a quote unquote tech YouTuber, whatever the f that means. But I look around today at the state of, you know, tech YouTubers and just YouTube in general. And I'm like, yeah, I I'm, I'm okay not actually becoming that. You know, tech reviewers, they get all these cool products sent to them. They're all expensive. And sometimes, you know, like sometimes they can get a product that's like $4,000, like a three, $4,000 Alienware. And then they're told to review it and they can keep it. And that review is not going to be unbiased. Like off, that review is not going to be unbiased. And even if a review like that is unbiased, there's just not really an appreciation, you know? If you don't buy something with your hard-earned money, I feel like a review, it, I feel like the review on that product isn't gonna be as authentic. It's not gonna be as real uh, as someone who, you know, let's say goes out and buys something that they've been saving for for a while and that they're really excited about and that they've done their research on, you know? There's just kind of that, there's just kind of that disconnect. And I just really know if I wanna do that. I don't know if I really wanna be a tech YouTuber. Now, of course, I'm a little bitter. I never made it as a tech YouTuber. I'll admit that, okay? I'll admit that. I wish that I had more success. But literally, the entire existence of my channel, I've never known what content to make. I thought, okay, I start off with commentaries. That's why this channel existed, because back in the day, I used to make these, you know, gimmicky little Call of Duty commentaries like X Jaws and Woody's Gamer Tag and all those guys. Of course, those never went anywhere, because commentaries back then were just kind of going out of style. Everyone was doing all these. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that was sort of uh, flourishing in, in the commentary scene, you know, the early 2009, 2010 commentaries that got a lot of prominence just kind of faded. And, you know, that makes sense, but I still did that and I still enjoyed it. However, you know, that kind of fell through and then I started doing tech reviews and I started doing other kinds of videos, which were a lot of fun. And a big chunk of the videos I do are tutorials and I can love tutorials. Like I absolutely love making tutorials. They're so much fun and I like, I like it because I can actually help people. They learn a lot from the videos. I get comments literally every day of people saying, thank you so much, this really helped me or I really understand it now or your video explained it better than anyone else. I really like that, that's a good feeling. And I've always enjoyed making tutorials just, you know, for fun, they've always been a lot of fun. Plus, you know, they get a lot of engagement and they get a lot of views because people look that stuff up and they learn how to do something specific and there's usually a lot of engagement there. So I really, I like that. That's fun. That's how I've built this channel. I wouldn't have 10,000 subscribers or almost 10,000 if I didn't do that kind of thing. But I'll tell you guys right now, if you want to be a tutorial YouTuber, it is the worst time to do it. First of all, tutorials almost rarely build a real audience unless you do tutorials on a certain thing, right? So I have all these obscure tutorials, like how to mod your gamer score and how to burn a CD. Like who, who am I really attracting with these videos aside from people that are looking for that specific thing? But also YouTube's recent removal of the dislike button, which I want to do a video on as well to talk about that in particular, because that is, oh, that's ridiculous fucking stupid that they did that. But YouTube's removal of the dislike button makes tutorials makes vi <laughs> makes video tutorials even harder to catch on like if you click on my video and you see that it has 40 likes a couple thousand views or a thousand views you don't really know what to think how many dislikes does it have how good is the actual video the first thing people look at when they click on a how-to video is the likes to dislikes to see how accurate the video is how efficient it is if it actually works or if the guy's wasting your time and i was really disappointed that they removed that because it just seems so unnecessary like do you really need to do that i, I have my theories as to why they removed that and i want to get into that in a separate video but basically tutorials i mean people still make them they, there's still an audience for it but but the removal of the dislike button really hurts that kind of content and that is my bread and butter was my bread and butter those are the kind of videos that i've always done not even on this channel but other channels too like i've just always made tutorials i've always enjoyed it and the removal of the dislike button makes it so much more annoying to deal with because people blatantly don't know how good the video is from the go and they probably won't watch it unless it ranks really well so what the hell is the point of this incoherent rant it's this i plan on making videos mostly commentaries that's it commentaries like this one because this is what i enjoy doing this is why the channel was started. 
I don't think I'm gonna build this channel very large, especially if I'm doing mostly commentaries and maybe the occasional tutorial if I find something I'm really into, but it's probably gonna be it. And I have to just be okay with that. And you know what? I think I am. I think I'm finally okay with it. I was kind of falling out of love with YouTube when I stopped. And then I stopped for as long as I did. And when I got all my equipment, like the camera and the tripod and the lights, and I was like, all right, I got the motorized slider. I'm gonna get some great B-roll. Just a part of it that felt like it was missing. I, mean, I wasn't really that into it. And if I ever feel that spark or passion again i'm gonna jump right in full feet and i got everything i need to do so but right now i'm gonna chill i'm just gonna make commentaries and have fun with it you know that's what it, that's what it's about to me it's about having fun youtube's always been about having fun and uh, that's what i'm gonna focus on so anyway this is just a video that i know four people will watch and two people will like and <laughs> That's all right. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope to see you in the next video, which will probably be about the removal of the dislike button. And uh, yeah, I got my socials in the description below. Again, no one gives a fuck. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, if I'm so lucky. Peace. If you could be in love with me The way that I'm in Do